looks like we made it through another start to finish process. Um, there were a few things I had to do off camera because it was a little bit difficult to try and um, display this piece and kind of glue at the same time so that you could actually see it on camera. But it, was, it really wasn't anything like all that exciting. It was just kind of gluing a couple of flowers and stuff on the back side. But um, as you saw at the very beginning, I showed you a box. I had purchased this mini um, cherry blossom tree about let's see not last year but the year before like after Christmas it was originally like $9.99 and it was like half off so I got it for like five dollars and it's just been sitting there in my stash just kind of waiting for some kind of inspiration um, and I just you know loved it because it was a cute little light up you know cherry blossom tree um, and it originally came with this you know little uh, you know 12 by 12 piece of burlap to kind of tie at the base and a little bit of jute twine and you know super cute but I wanted to turn it into something a little bit more decorative for my home um, so super cute I love how it turned out um, I wanted to take off all the um, little um, uh, fake little flowers that it had on the end because you know I just kind of thought they looked a little bit corny and uh, you saw me take some uh, ribbon that I had in my stash I think I got it at Joann's um, and I just cut the little pieces off and then I kind of turned them into um, little flowers around the edge and let me grab it right here um, this is you know what it was just a trim at Joann's and I just kind of took it apart you could actually use these to make really cute flowers with and I took it apart and that's what I did you know and just kind of wrapped it around each of the blossoms I was able to get the the ugly um, fabric piece off of it and the little plastic pieces and I liked this because it was just a really kind of soft sheer uh, fabric and I just kind of tied it around and glued it so it would just kind of give me a cute little blossom um, and then I used uh, a lot of Renee Bouquet board you know around the blossoms I wanted this and I will come back to that I wanted this piece to be um, really cute and like a scene you know under the fairy blossom trees you know on a on a very warm summer night uh, type thing was my thinking um, and so I just thought a cute little fairy you know in her little magical garden underneath the cherry blossom tree uh, was what I was kind of wanting to go for and it all just came together really quickly love how it turned out and it has little tiny tiny LED lights and let me show you the back side this is the back side I couldn't really really show you a whole lot because it was kinda hard to hold and glue it on camera but really all I did was add some flowers and and some beads and things and I'll explain that to you on the front but just kind of repeated the process on the back Okay. And I didn't want to just leave fabric flowers. I wanted it to be, you know, a little mystical, you know, garden, like I said, under the cherry blossom tree. So I wanted to really use some of Renee Bouquet's um, beautiful board pieces to kind of set off the little tone of each of the cherry blossoms. Bring this up a little bit closer. You get a good look and we'll go right into it, back into it. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, a little bit late. Okay, so you saw me at first. Um, I took some uh, Prima Heavy Black Gesso, and I just wanted to take away the kind of plastic look of the uh, piece. And this actually only stands about 12 inches tall. Okay, the whole piece is 12 inches tall, just a tiny thing. Um, so like I said, I took some Prima Heavy Black Gesso, pounced it up and down, give a little bit of texture on the bottom, and then I took a little bit of that Black Gesso as well, up and down all along um, the stems of the tree, because this, this is all just like taped. 
in black and I wanted to take away the shininess of the black tape so I just kind of ran the gesso up and down uh, around all the sides of the little uh, branches just to tone it down and make it more of a matte color than a shiny and then you saw me take the uh, fabric wrap it around I took the stuff off the center like I said took the fabric from that trim wrapped it around and then I took um, three different Renee Bouquet's pieces um, this one here is a Renee Bouquet uh, Beautiful Board Beautiful Bits Blossoms Okay, these are just, you get like a little jar of these really cute little blossoms. And I used a crocodile and punched a hole in it, the smallest hole. It was just big enough to go over that LED light. You can see it right there in the center, right there. That hole was just big enough. I still added some uh, Beacon Fabri-Tac glue just to put it, you know, because it was going to slide on just underneath that light so that it wouldn't come off. Uh, and then the other uh, beautiful board that I used here, <clears throat> excuse me, beautiful board, beautiful bits, and these are the scroll hearts. Really cute. They have like an actual little uh, keyhole in the center, but I kind of punched out in the keyhole there. Punched a circle there and then popped it on over that LED light. Okay. Um, and then the last pieces I used are these printed beautiful boards and these are the April and Paris line uh, these are my favorites you see me use them on a lot of stuff you get a set of seven and they're the tuck it in cherry blossoms beautiful gorgeous printed uh, cherry blossoms so it went perfect for my cherry blossom tree right so I did that all the way around just kind of um, you know doing some scroll hearts here and there doing some uh, blossoms here and there and then doing some of the uh, printed beautiful board tuck it in cherry blossoms here and there okay so that made the top of my tree and then I came down around to the bottom now the very bottom let me turn it over um, this is a uh, beautiful board piece this is <clears throat> a Victorian scroll frame it's in the large size it's actually meant to be a frame it's kind of shorter on one side and taller on the other there you go but I thought it was just perfect had just the perfect opening in the center of the frame where I would be able to open that battery pack and replace the batteries just the perfect size so I layered that on the bottom just to give it a little bit of a whimsy and a fancy bottom down there so I thought that worked out just perfectly cute um, and then in the very back, the first thing I did is I layered. You can just see a little bit of it. It's got the twine hanging out, just a Prima marketing tag uh, from Stationer's Desk Collection, old uh, collection, paper collection. So I layered that tag sideways. I stuck a uh, Prima marketing uh, butterfly paper clip on there. And then kind of on the back of that, I've got some Amelia Rose chipboard from Prima Marketing and that Renee has that in her shop Amelia Rose chipboard and I used a couple of pieces out of that um, I put one here it says one of a kind and then I added another little piece down here it's got a little rose print on it okay over the front of that Prima tag I layered a large cherry blossom piece here tuck it in cherry blossom let me lay my block down here real quick let me grab these for you like I said a set of seven mine are just all together I've got just a bunch of different ones but let me just show you a few of the pieces you get a bunch of different uh, sizes uh, shapes I mean I guess is what I should say like you get like a little shape like that and you get a larger shape to play with here um, nope see it that one's the same uh, you get a couple of little smaller pieces like this uh, little smaller pieces like that so you get a bunch of different little designs that go in the seven piece set of these cherry blossoms and I just love the pink shades of these of this piece of these blossoms so I kind of tuck that on the front of the tag and made it so it's kind of spilling out the side of the vase there um, and then on the front of that I've got a really cute probably hard to see you could just barely see it uh, a beautiful board lacy heart frame they come in a set of four they come in various sizes so I've got one just kind of laying sideways right there 
okay just because I wanted to bring in the the scallop of the scroll on the bottom and then like the scallop of the little blossoms and stuff like that so I wanted to add in that little lacy heart frame there and on the front of that lacy heart frame I've got a little square resin frame from my stash I layered right there um, a little prima uh, metal clock there old old shabby chic treasures uh, metal clock faces um, and then on top of that, I laid a beautiful board decorative claw can from Renee's shop. This is in the size small. Let's see, did I? Yes, I did. I laid uh, some here. Size small. They come in a set of six. I have just a few left here. But they come small, medium, large, and extra large. Oh, I've got four left of the small. And each of the claw cans um, are a different design. Okay. They go to get they go together but they're do so each I guess there's six in a set three pairs and each of the three pairs match okay but each of the pairs are a different design okay and this is the small you can see how teeny those are in the palm of my hand okay so I layered that there um, and then this it was just I just wanted to add a little bit of a metal element there this is just a little uh, lock from my stash I layered right in there and then on top of that I layered look at this cute cute tiny tiny little butterfly of course these are from Renee's shop um, <clears throat> I'm sorry I keep losing my voice you guys these are the butterfly kisses okay they come in a set of 20 and each set of 20 has three different sizes okay and these are the Aurora Borealis in pink okay that's what I use and let me point those out to you because I used a few around the set since we're talking about them I've got one here I layered one down here and then I layered one right up here on the branch of the cherry blossom okay and let me show you the three different sizes I've got them right down here. These are so cute. I love these butterfly kisses. So there's your biggest size there. Then you come down to your next size. And then you come down. Oh, oh wrong size. Next size. And then you come down to even your smaller size still. I hope I've got another one of those in the small. I might have to grab a, another uh, color here to show you that smallest size. One moment, please. There we go. This is a different uh, set, a little watercolor set there, but there you go. Those are the three sizes. So that's your biggest, medium, small. Okay? So those are the three different sizes, a set of 20, the butterfly kisses. And the ones I use were the Aurora Borealis in pink. Try to say that 10 times fast. Okay, so I layered that there on top of that little clock hand there, the beautiful board clock hand. Okay, and then I layered some uh, flowers in front, some Rene Bouquet Mulberry flowers. I've got three different kinds here. Uh, this first one here is, um, they're coming a set of 13 roses and leaves in the pink and white. Okay. And then these ones that kind of look like a variegated kind of pink and white, these are a set of 24, the mini roses and leaves, and these are called pink sorbet. And then I've got just some white ones. These are actually um, from Michael's. These are a different flower. Let me show you the white ones on the back. <laughs> I've got just some white ones here from Renee's shop. They come in a set of 13, and they're wild roses, gardenias, and leaves in ivory. Okay, got that. There again is that pink and white one. Here's another little ivory flower from Renee's shop. Okay, yeah, and these ones are just uh, from my stash that I got from Michael's. Okay. Um, I tucked in some lace from Renee Bouquets. This is the daisy chain lace. I use this a lot. I like to tuck it in uh, all my projects. And let me bring it to you. I showed you on camera, but it actually comes like this. And I like to cut the little flowers off and tuck it in, day and tuck it in my flat in my other in my projects in in the midst of my other flowers. Daisy chain lace right there. Another lace that I cut apart, you can see right here, just a beautiful lace. Let me turn this over to the back. 
And then you can see another one right here. Just a gorgeous lace. Let me bring it up. It comes like in a chain like this and then you cut it apart okay um, and it's two inches wide and this is the rose garden lace and you can see it's like a double layer almost like an applique flower with tiny little uh, roses and leaves they those are in fabric as well on top and those have little tiny pearls in the center just gorgeous and this is like a really like a rose color and a light pink uh, and kind of like a cream color okay gorgeous love to cut those apart and they're huge I know I'm trying to do this one-handed you can see in the palm of my hand how big they are huge okay alright so that's what I kinda of layered here and then this is the back side of the other one okay let that just kinda of peek out the side a little bit now front and center is this cute little fairy from Renee's shop this is the printed beautiful board sweet garden fairy with glass wings okay and this is the small size right here okay I love this because Renee has taken the time to add a little acetate wing right on top of her other wing just gorgeous she is just sweet and I love it it's probably gonna be hard to see on here let me see let me bring this down in the light a little bit and bring my camera up versus going up to the uh, lens itself because it's a little bit lighter down here there we go look at her ears she's got cute little pointy fairy ears isn't that adorable and sweet little flowers coming up in her hair isn't she just gorgeous little hand come down here a little roughly she has bare feet I covered those up there's the little glass wing and Renee adds all that glitter on there and adds that little gem now I added glitter on the back wing it does not come with that glitter right there okay I use Renee Bouquet uh, glitter glass and I added it to the back wing just to give it a little more sparkle so it does not come with the the glitter glass on that back wing but you can certainly add that to it as you can see buy some beautiful Renee Bouquet uh, glitter glass this is just a clear it's called diamond and it just sparkles that up even more but isn't that adorable she is just so stinking cute look at that why we're up here I'll let you kind of see all this up close just magical with a lot of light so you can kind of see all the layering process turn it to the side you can see the layering in there okay turn it around show you the layering in the back really pretty Aurora Borealis in pink butterfly again or enable K's scroll heart there beautiful bits now these beautiful pearls you're seeing here those also come from Renee's shop um, I've had a few of these pearls in my stash but I have just not yet pulled them out and I thought this was just perfect to add these cute little pearls and all I did to um, add them is I just used that Fabri-Tac glue added a little spot of glue on the pearl and I glued the pearl right in the place where I wanted it to be you can see the different sizes of these pearls these are called Renee Bouquet beautiful beads they're iridescent pearls in rose gold and you can see the two-tone of the color it's kind of got a real beautiful rose and a darker rose and a little bit of cream on it and Renee has a ton of different uh, colors of these beads in her shop of these pearls in her shop all in this kind of variegated uh, color tones so just gorgeous and they come in different sizes in the set there's kind of like the larger and a medium and a small and an extra small let me see get my little bag here and kind of show you it's in the bag but you can kind of see okay there we go see even down to just the tiniest of the beads 
I should have grabbed some of my other ones out to show you. And I could probably grab those really quick. Here we go. Here's the other uh, sets that I have. These are actually called the Unicorn uh, Candy. Unicorn Candy. Iridescent Pearls in Unicorn Candy. They've got purple and the pink and the, um, the real pretty blue. You know, the colors of the unicorn. So that's the other set that I have. But you can see the colors of those. Just cute. Anyway, so I just kind of laid them on there all just, you know, right where I wanted them. And actually what happened is I took a little handful and then I just kind of threw them on there. And wherever they rolled, I'm like, that's where I'll glue it. <laughs> and I think I did that off camera because it was a little bit kind of hard to um, to do, you know, and to glue them on there you know give you a good camera view for that okay so let's see I've got another little scroll heart right here beautiful boards uh, beautiful bit scroll heart there this is just a little Prima resin uh, piece here a little window shutter out of my stash that I've got right there let's see this is also from that um, Amelia Rose chipboard collection it says magical on it okay and then I've got a tiny treasures butterfly right here. This is called Emmy's Dream. I love this one. It's just beautiful uh, browns and kind of pinks, a little bit of creams. Emmy's Dream. I think I'm more in love with the name. <laughs> Emmy's Dream. I just love the name of these butterflies. So cute. Let's see. And I think I've got everything down that was the end of that project it was pretty quick to put together oh I did add the glitter glass like I kind of told you uh, Renee Bouquet's glitter glass in diamond um, and I used just Prima 3d matte gel added some glitter glass along on the the flowers and you know down there just to give it a little bit more glitter in our little uh, magical fairy world here glitter glass all around okay all right, um, so I hope you enjoyed that project. I will have everything down below Renee Bouquet's. I will have all the links to the products I used in this particular project down below as well. So if you something just really caught your eye and you want to just go right to it, it'll be there, and the links will go to the dot-com store. Um, I want to remind you that uh, last month Etsy raised their fees. So Renee Bouquet's Etsy shop, the prices are a little higher in that shop, okay? But on the dot-com shop, they are still the same price as they have always been, okay? Um, so we are encouraging everybody, if it is um, easy for you and feasible, to please come and uh, shop on the dot-com site. And to maybe whet your appetite for that, for the month of August, we do have a coupon for you to do a little shopping on the ReneeBouquets.com site. I will have that uh, coupon down below for you. And basically, if you spend $30 or more before shipping at ReneeBouquets.com only, not the Etsy store, store the dot-com only, and you put one package of Renee Bouquet's Butterfly Kisses in your cart. Enter the coupon code August Freebie, all in caps. I'll have that down below for you at checkout, and you will receive one package of the Renee Bouquet Butterfly Kisses in your style of color choice for free. Okay, and it's a four dollar and twenty five cent value. Only one coupon per order, but remember your purchase must be $30 or more before shipping, and you will get a package of whichever butterfly kisses you would like. So basically it's buy one, get one free, okay? So this month it's the butterfly kisses. You buy one set of butterfly kisses, you spend $30 or more before shipping, you get one set of butterfly kisses for free, and these are super cute, super tiny look at that teeny tiny butterfly on my pinky okay um, come like Renee Bouquet's on Facebook um, we have lots of fun on Facebook there are monthly challenges there are monthly swaps we also have a uh, website on Facebook a um, a um, 
you know, I can talk really well. A group on Facebook, excuse me. Um, it is Rene Bouquet's Artists with an Edge. Okay, Rene Bouquet's Artists with an Edge public group. Uh, if you want to come join, just come ask. You're certainly welcome. And you come there to find inspiration, post your products and or projects and stuff with products that you've gotten from Rene Bouquet's and get, uh, you know, lots of inspiration from, you know, people all around the world that are designing with Renee Bouquet's products, including the design team. Um, you will find all the links down below to everything that I have, my blog, so come follow that. Uh, come follow me on Pinterest, and please come follow me on Instagram. I'm keeping up with that a little bit better than I am with Pinterest as far as posting my pictures and things. Um, and then, you know, come follow Renee Bouquet's blog because she's got uh, designers on there, or other designers besides me that you may want to, you know, go check out. You don't have to be just biased because I know you love me best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but anyway, come follow me along on all my sites and come follow Renee Bouquet on all their sites. I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.